Greetings all, Fanny here for Taurus's weekly to uh, reading. I have to find a new intro for this. Taurus, please rem remember that the energy that you have today will carry on through the rest of the week, so be mindful of spicy words and letting people get to you. You have Knight of Shields in reverse. Shields in this deck is related back to Pentacles, which is of the earthly realm, materials, money, status, things like that. The knights are the ones that usually ride into battle to go achieve that which they carry. For cups, it would be emotional stability. For wands, it would be fiery passion and going after what it is you want. For this one, I want you to note that the dragon that she is riding on is moving very slowly. So... In reverse, my initial thought was maybe something that you're waiting on, like um, a bonus, a, a new job, a new opportunity, um, grant or scholarship money coming in. At first, I was going to say that it maybe it's taking a while or things are paused right now, but actually, I think it's quite the opposite. If you have been working and making moves in your life and in your passions, I think things are going to start happening very quickly. And I'm saying that as a Taurus son who's starting to notice that herself. Just last night, I, I finished my first inventory of my bracelets. And I'm incredibly proud of myself. And I also feel like there's going to be things that are moving a lot faster. You have the Eight of Shields here. An interesting representation of this card. It's very much reminding me of Six of Swords, where people are moving out of rough waters into calmer seas. But in this one, he's practicing his craft, honing and making it perfect, while his child is playing and his wife is watching over him. I always feel like the, the wife in that imagery is very looming. So... You, Please don't feel pressure to rush your craft because perfection is takes time and is worth waiting for. What you're working on, what you want to desire, this Ten of Cauldron situation, Ten of Cauldrons being Ten of Cups, complete emotional fulfillment and stability, it is something that is worth waiting for. It is something that is worth going through the hard times the things that make you upset, want to pull your hair out, or just cry at the end of the day. These hard times, these rough seas, choppy waters, and challenges that we're going through makes us wiser, stronger, kinder, more compassionate, more knowledgeable so that when we have this ten of cauldrons, this absolute fulfillment, we truly enjoy it. Instead of going on like, okay, where can I get my next level up? Or, I don't have enough. You can actually enjoy your moment because you have been through struggle. You have been through hard times. And you've kept your heart through it all. You kept your kindness. You've kept your sense of love. You didn't let the world turn you sour. And you and I are very grateful for that. Because I know for, for myself, for this vessel... There are things that I'm very surprised I'm still not resentful, bitter, or angry over. And a lot of people still would be, but I have come to the understanding that only I am hurting from that situation. And so to give myself freedom, to give myself peace, I had to let that go. I no longer want this fire ring of resentment to block the good. Release me from its bonds. Right there. That line right there. I no longer want this firing of resentment to block the good. Release me from its bonds. Is a phrase that I use so often because I get this card so often. I use that phrase in my own practice, in my own channeling. Because it is so powerful. I no longer want this resentment. I no longer want this anxiety. I no longer want this anger. I no longer want this fear. Those kinds of power directing words makes your affirmations all the more powerful. And affirmations are working with the law of attraction. Everything that you say, think, and feel 
becomes your reality. So when you realize that, you stop saying things like, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that, I'm not worth that, and start saying, I can do this, I will do this, and I do own that. Stating it like it is already yours. Claiming your power over the situation because of the words you say. It's called spelling for a reason. It's because our words have power. That thing that they said in school, how words can't hurt you, biggest load of bullshit you will ever hear. Because your words are the most powerful thing that you have. They can mend wounds, tear down people, break alliances, destroy cities. So much faster than anything physical can. You have ease going along with the affirmations. It is easy for me to receive. It is easy for me to receive. It is easy for me to receive. And that's why you have that Ten of Cauldrons after the, the Eight of Pentacles. Once you finally allowed yourself to release that, everything else has been coming with ease because it's been waiting on you to accept it and invite it in. We live in the realm of free will. You have to first surrender your control. Sometimes learning to surrender can feel like you're dying. The ego learns what's hardest, to stop trying to control the whole universe. Stop trying to be the one that has to fix your own life. Stop trying to be the one that has to make your perfected, idealized reality when spirit could have something so much better and so much more beautiful for you that you don't, you're not even aware of because you're so focused, nose to the grindstone. Allow yourself to live your life. You have a beautiful story to share, Taurus. Maybe one you're writing, maybe just an autobiography. Your ancestors are very proud of you. You have sweet times and enjoyment of your life, making sure that you enjoy the finer things. You have a lion's head for your passion, for your pride. You could also have some Leo energy or Leos watching over you. I know my dad's a Leo, my mom's a Leo moon. You have a dark sunflower following your own light in your own time. Your path is not going to look like anyone else's because you're not like anyone else. That's why you've taken such different roads and routes. You've seen different things, experienced different things, met different people. You are inherently different, Taurus. And this is not to single you out. This is to lift you up because authenticity is a beautiful thing when you just embrace everything about who you are, the good, the bad, the things people like, the things people don't like. When you accept it as you, you stop fighting yourself and you free yourself so much. You free yourself with a story of love, with the fact that you could look yourself in the mirror and say, I love you on your best days and on your worst days. And that sense of empowerment, that sense of self-compassion carries through the rest of your life because when you're in an energy of self-compassion when you're in an energy of self-love it is easy to receive and life is all the sweeter life is all the mo more enjoyable because you're just looking at it with the eyes of love and compassion and enjoyment and as someone who started has started to go through this shift herself as someone who's starting to see these things herself I can say it's made me excited for life again. It's made me happy to go out my door and see what I'm going to experience. Even if I'm just going to Walmart, I make it my mission to compliment at least one person. Tell them they look beautiful. Tell them I love their style. Because there's a lot of things that people fight in their own head. And if I could pull them out of their ego for a second to say, I see you, you're beautiful, I would have done something good. And Taurus, part of your authenticity is being weird, being that stand out, stand up kind of person. So stop holding back and stop hanging on to people that hated you for it. Because frankly, they're idiots for not seeing how amazing you are. Have a beautiful day, Taurus.